looks like we're live. All right, Debbie, so today we're gonna to talk about what do you do if you're afraid to lose money with affiliate marketing or any online business in general. So I'm just gonna give everyone a minute to connect here. We are doing a live stream that takes a, a, a few of 30, 45 seconds for everyone to connect. So while everyone is connecting, we're just gonna do some fun stuff. All right, so today's uh, we are gonna do a Q&A at the end. This could be about a 20 to 30 minute session. Just gonna deliver some good value today. Hopefully not fall asleep midstream. I'm preparing for a long work today, day today. I'm talking about four to five hour work day today, getting started. All right, so let's see who's connected here. Already a lot of people joining. What's up, everybody? KR, good to see you. Shadnik, good to see you. See you here, you're always here. Corey, what's up? Uh, little bit of a lag time. What everyone think about the Mayweather fight yesterday? I actually watched it. Um, I didn't really think it was worth a hundred bucks. It was cool to watch though. All right, Tim, uh, Timothy, what's up? Uh, Dwar Quiche, Eric, how's it going? Six, uh, six Paths Keen, Mike C, Anjali, Mario, Alec, Lion, Zeth, TJ, how we doing? All right, so today we're talking about for those of you afraid to take risks. So what I wanna talk about is a question that I get all the time. I think uh, it's worth creating a live stream about. I just think it's one of those uh, esoteric, <laughs> that's a good word, uh, entrepreneur concepts. So we'll start again, just about 20 seconds. We'll get into the actual content. It usually takes about two minutes for everyone to connect. You know, everyone, uh, the live stream notification and all that. Scott, how's it going? Glamour Models, how are you doing? Uh, I am a deadbeat. I know it looks like I work a lot. I just, I've gotten really good at being efficient. I'm not lazy, I'm efficient. All right, uh, Ball, is that your name? Bale, how you, how's it going? Uh, Chris, what's up? Hamid, how you doing? From Saudi Arabia, good to have you. Marcus, uh, how you doing? I thought it was an all right fight. K3, what's up? Chris, how you doing? Good to see you back. Congrats on getting my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. This is going to be, hopefully this uh, video will help you out. Uh, Juanita, how you doing? Emily, from Israel, how you doing? All right, so Stephanie, what's up? E, e uh, Elio, Elliot, how you doing? All right, let's just get to it. I promise this content. So I have this thing written out. Uh, it is kind of a crazy concept. Hopefully it comes out right. I'm still working on how to, how to explain stuff live. So yesterday, or it was two days ago, I got the question, and I think everyone can relate to this. So the question is, this is literally word for word. I'm not gonna say his name because I just wanna kinda keep that private. But his comment was, so, I, so this is word for word what he said. So I spend $30 on some guy to do a voiceover video for me, but what if my video doesn't get any views and I just wasted $30? I won't be too happy. So basically his question boils down, if you have to boil it down to one thing is, what if I waste my time and money and get nothing from it? So this is the quintessential question of what it means to be an entrepreneur. This is a question we're all faced with every single day. This is, and this is also the reason or the answer to the question, I get this question all the time, is if it's so easy and you can make so much money from it, why doesn't everyone else do it? So the answer to this is it all comes down to fear. Fear and particular, in particular, fear of the unknown. This is kind of some weird thing that us humans have a problem with. The fear of the, the unknown. What if it doesn't work out? What if I put money in? What if I put my time in and it doesn't work out? So this is the crossroads that every single person faces. It doesn't matter how badass you think someone is, everyone is faced with this crossroad at least one point in their life. And this is a, a hurdle that most people don't overcome. So usually what happens is you're at the crossroad, you can either push forward, take the risk, or you can go back to what is safe and known. So in this scenario here, what is safe and known is going back to your job, going to a job where at least you know the time and effort that you put in, you're gonna get paid a certain amount of money. So I've realized that 90% of the people when they're faced with this crossroads, they go back to safety, to what is known. Now, 10% will push through this crossroad and take the route, which can potentially lead to a, a life that you really can't really imagine if you're at it right now. I know it sounds cliche, but, uh, oh, lost my train of thought here. All right, so where do I leave off? We're at the crossroad. All right, so 
How many people are right here? How many people in the live stream? I just want to know, are you at this point in the affiliate marketing business? Are you on, are you at this point where you can't really push through? So if you're all, if you're listening right now, just comment. I'm just curious who all is right here at this point. So Chris is here. Okay, this is all right, so this is what I thought. This is what I pretty much thought was the the issue here. So it's breaking through this barrier. So what I want to do is ask another question. So the question is is hopefully this will help you justify doing this. So why is it it's so easy for us to go to say Starbucks or we go to a restaurant to eat out? Why is it so easy for us to not even think about wasting thirty dollars or fifty dollars? doing that. We literally go to Starbucks, we spend the money without even thinking about it. Why is it that when it comes to completely wasting our money with you know going to Starbucks, for example, why is it so easy to do? Yet when it comes to investing in ourselves, we have to think so much about wasting $30. So let's just say the video flops. Let's say you, instead of going to your Starbucks, you go out and eat to the restaurant, you instead decide to invest in yourself you have a video created and let's say that video completely flops or your, your, your business flops. The question is, is it really a waste? At least with Starbucks, you get something right away. You get that short term gratification, but let's say the business flops, it's a complete waste. The question is, is it really a waste? So this is the way I think about it is that even if the business flops, the video flops, you get two things out of it. First of all, this is worth way more than any money that you can invest, is that your personal courage, your the virtue of courage increases by 1%. So you've decided to take the leap and it bombs, but what you get out of this is increased courage, and with increased courage comes increased confidence. And that's very important if you want to, to be successful in life, in my opinion. Now, most importantly though, besides for that growth and personal development, you learn what not to do. And this is way more valuable than learning what to do. Sorry guys, this is kind of scripted here, so I'm, I'm working on how to merge the two. So learning what not to do is, I think, the way humans learn best. So you can do all kinds of coaching and training, and that helps, learning what to do. Do the right stuff helps, but it really doesn't sink in until you learn what not to do, until you experience that pain of failure and having things not go your way. So you get two things, you get to improve confidence, and most importantly, you know, you learn what not to do. Now, the bad news is, as far as everything I'm talking about here, is that this question about whether or not the money that I put in, is it going to be a waste? This feeling of the unknown, the fear of the unknown, this really never goes away. Even today, every single day, I, I, I still struggle with this question. I believe every person, every entrepreneur out there, no matter how successful they are, they're always afraid of this. And you're facing with the, with this decision every single day. But the good news is, is that you can literally train yourself to overcome this question. As your courage increases, it becomes easier to push through this barrier every single time. And starting small, start, starting with, let's say $30 is your first crossroad that you're at. When you start small, you can work your way up. So the next time, let's say you start with 30, the next decision involves spending $300. Because you're able to say yes and push forward with that $30 investment, even if it fails, the next time you're uh, presented with that $300 question, you have a little bit more courage and confidence built up from that previous decision. So let's say you hit the 300, let's say you say yes to that, maybe it works out a little bit better. Now when we're talking $3,000, it's gonna be much easier uh, from that point on. So you have to work your way up and starting small with this $30, 17, whatever it is, $20, $100, this is how it all begins. So the other good news is that the more you learn, you can kind of mitigate this gap, this gap between risk and reward. The more that you learn, that gap will shrink so that you know the risk that you put in is more than likely going to pay off. So it eventually gets to the point with using video marketing, for example, I know that if I invest $30 into a any kind of business, whether it be a video, if I invest $30 into a video, I've learned so much. I've learned what not to do. I've learned intuitively what works. I know that at the very least, worst case scenario, 
I'm going to get that $30 back. Now on the upside, I could that one video could potentially over time make me $100,000 because I've learned so much and I know that it really is possible to make that kind of video, that money with just one video over time. So this all took some time for me to get to, learning the formula, uh, learning what niche markets to go after, um, learning how to write video scripts properly, all of this. I learned slowly but surely making small mistakes, video by video, losing some money here and there, but it all started with that first decision. So uh, I, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It is possible to educate yourself, to lessen that fear through experience and learning things like through YouTube or my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System as far as affiliate marketing is concerned. Now. This leads into another segment or something just as important is that you have to be very careful that I think this is what a lot of people do is they're so fearful of losing money that instead of taking risks, they get stuck on the education part of the equation. So what will happen is, is that instead of learning something and taking action, they just continue to learn and learn and learn because they are never able quite able to face that decision of taking that initial risk. So that's just some food for thought. Don't get stuck in the in education. Education is important, but you have to eventually switch to uh, taking that crossword of saying yes, taking action in other words. All right, so I just wanna know your thoughts on, on what, what I was just, uh, hopefully this came out right. In my head, it's a little bit different. Uh, still working on getting this part where I get it in my head out into words. It's kind of like a skill, so I'm working on that. So what do you guys think? What do you Debbie's think? Let's see here. Let's see the questions here. Hopefully it's helped. I know. Uh, all right, good. Hopefully, I, I know I'm, I'm still working on this motivation thing, man. Like I'm just, I'm so freaking lazy. I'm trying to get that energy like that. Ah, still working on it. All right. So does anyone have questions about that? Yeah, the, the way I guess the, the good way to put it put it is the, the possible income is worth the small risk. You know, the upside is greater than the small risk that it takes. And over time, you can that gap. I can't really get this to come out right, but that gap between the risk and the reward, you shrink it down. The more you learn, the more mistakes you make. So if you're stuck at that point, you're just beginning. I just start small. Take that 15 to 30 minute gamble. It's not even a gamble, the more you learn, uh, it's an investment. Just look at it as an investment, it really is. Like I've made huge mistakes in the past. I don't know if you've seen my other videos. Uh, the worst mistake that I made, I wouldn't even consider a mistake, it was a failure that was incredibly valuable. I lost like somewhere between 100 to $150,000 on one project before. Um, it was way out of my league as far as what I knew. It was a software project. But from that mistake, I learned so many valuable skills that it was just part of the education. I'm so much better off for it nowadays, even though it hurt. I'm, in my opinion, $150,000 more invested in my education. I learned so much. Okay, so let's get some Q&As. So here's a great question. Josh asks, if I have, let's just say I have 10K, where do I start? You, you, the worst thing you want to do is take that 10K and think because you have $10,000 to invest, you have an advantage. What's gonna happen is because you think you have $10,000 to invest, you're just gonna throw it into all this stuff without learning the ropes. So this would be the equivalent of like, uh, let's just do the Conor McGregor and Mayweather fight. Conor McGregor, very good at uh, UFC style fighting MMA, and he thought that because he was good at that, he could just jump all in, fight a, a pro at boxing and win. Now he did a great job, but it really, it was like an apple to oranges comparison. So he needed to learn the boxing skill more before jumping in. Now I still, still think he did a pretty good job, but what I'm getting at is that you're gonna wanna start from the beginning with, let's just pretend you got your 10K, pretend that's just a hundred bucks. So start with a hundred and learn how to take that hundred and convert it into a thousand by learning affiliate marketing. That's kind of the trick there, or else you're just gonna jump right in, waste it all. My, my YouTube channel is a good place to start. Uh, my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, if you don't have that, it's 17 bucks. Uh, you can blow that in $17 at 
I want a one McDonald's trip. So start there, it's gonna save you more money by help. It's gonna save you, not only save you, but help you multiply that a lot quicker. Um, Al, uh, Al, Alien Wind says, is a free Wix or free WordPress site better to start with? This is the one thing I don't recommend you do. Invest in hosting and a domain name with like a host gator. Use my coupon code, HOOKUP. This gives you your first month for one penny. Uh, the reason why you don't wanna start with a free Wix or a free WordPress site is because you can lose that property. Sometimes these WordPress, for example, I've had this happen before, they can shut your site down. So that means all the work that you put in, more importantly, your time and effort can go out the window. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to keep up, guys. There's a lot of comments. Terry Stone says, I recommend getting the traffic blaster uh, upgrade. That is worth it. That's well, one of the upgrades in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. You don't need it, but it does help. It's worth the, it's worth the upgrade in my opinion. I spent a lot of time on that. It's a good pro, it's a good program. Uh, so regular YouTube says, how can I make an affiliate website for free? Again, that, that that's basically what I just answered. You don't want to do that. Uh, Manny says, will you ever update the Deadbeat theme? I update that one uh, frequently. What updates do you want to see? I'll see if I can get that in. The Deadbeat theme is included in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. As a bonus, the Debbie theme basically helps you make more money with the same exact website. So the Debbie theme is basically optimized for conversions for an affiliate. Basically, you make you it'll make you more money with the same amount of effort. And again, that is a bonus with my Debbie Super Affiliate System. Hey Manny, why don't you just send me an email with what you want to see done, and I'll work it in. I have a full time uh, a full time programmer that helps me with my upgrades. We'll work those in. Um, Itchy Moku says, can you look at my website and tell me if it's good or not? So I do actually, in my Deadbeat University uh, coaching program, I do do in-depth reviews of student sites. So this is what I'm doing after this live stream. I am doing uh, my Deadbeat University live coaching call at about four. So if you get my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System and get the Debbie University upgrade, which is basically live sessions like this, but I can go in and look at your stuff. So that's part of that. This is a great question. So this is about, uh, uh, so what is a major feature or a major conversion factor, uh, factor in getting a product review to convert? One thing that's very important with product reviews is testimonials. So real testimonials, before and after results until I've tested this thoroughly, testimonials will double your conversion rate. Literally, let's say you're making a thousand a month with a an affiliate site, just adding testimonials will double that money. So you'll get 2,000 a month. Another thing that helps is a review video, just kind of walking through the product, and actually buying the product and putting it into action doubles your conversion rate as well, give or take, it might not be exact, but it's close. Okay, let's see here. This, and by the way, guys, this is only going to be a 30 minute Q&A session. I think what I'm going to do is can confine these to about 30 minutes. M, uh, this is a good question. M Lightman says, does it make sense to start with a one page site to learn before I launch the whole niche site? So the way this works is you want to use a one page site if you have ex external traffic sources. So if you have, for example, a big YouTube channel, it helps, uh, you can make a, a bunch of money off of a one page website. However, if you want to tap into other types of traffic, for example, you can get a 20 page blog to rank on Google for various keywords. If those 20 pages are well written, then they provide additional value. You can get another type of traffic. So let's say you have a YouTube channel and a 20 page blog. Look, I think all over my fingers. These can, that you can get different tra you can get traffic from Google over here from your blog and YouTube and you can funnel these all to your review page. So by having more pages of content on your blog, it basically opens up your your avenues for more traffic. Okay. Um, Uh, Jack Jacqueline says, hey man, I've been watching your videos all night. It seems too good to be true. I'm just so excited. So if you rewatch this video today, I talked about this exact thought that you're having. So it's basically the answer to why, if it's so easy to do, if you can make so much money, why don't most people do it? So after, I think you might've came a little bit late, 
rewatch this this live live stream and the answer to your question or that thought that you have is basically why I created this live stream today. I think you might have missed it. Uh, Ichi, uh, Ichimoko says, do you use paid traffic or email marketing at all? So this is what I'm talking about in my new program. I'm releasing this in September, uh, early October. There might be a bit delay. I'm having some issues with some foundational stuff, primarily payment processing. It's an pr awesome program. I'm very excited about this. Can you still be successful without a YouTube channel? Absolutely. I have uh, one blog in particular that gets up to 700 visit unique visitors per day, just with blogging. So it's just another it's just another avenue for traffic. Uh, this is a good question. Anjali asks, have you ever written an article about a new product with about 10 search volume a month and hope it will become popular? Uh, that, that, that's, um, I would probably avoid that, but if it's a new product and they're, they're, and they're about to do like a big launch, for example, it might be a good time to get in. If it's just, just starting out and they're gearing, gearing up for a big launch, it might be valuable for you to do because that means you can get into the the competition a little bit sooner than everyone else. Ichi Moku says I'm at like 50 a day on my week old site. So was that 50 visitors a day or $50 in commissions? Uh, Stephanie says I'm not getting conversions, but for me, I'm getting several hundred clicks. So this is the first start, the clicks. So that's that's a sign that you have people on your site. And what I can say is that basically you need to work on convincing people to buy the product. So if you're getting visitors but no conversions, basically that's like someone coming in, let's say you have a car dealership and you get 200 people to come to your car dealership and your cars aren't converting, it means that your salesperson isn't doing a good job. So either they're not convincing the people to buy, they're not sending the buyer to the right car, they're not listening to the buyer, so you have people coming into your store, they're just not buying, which means that you have a sales problem. So it basically means work on your conversions, work on testimonials, work on the process, warming people up from before they get to your site. That's important. That's something I talk about in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Let's see here. Uh, guys, there's so many questions, so just bear with me. Deadbeats. I appreciate, by the way, I appreciate everyone coming out Sunday. I'm sure people are hungover or something. A testimonial is basically a user experience. Uh, Neil asks, how do I start up at a, with affiliate marketing? Check out my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System or my other my free videos on my YouTube channel. These, this is exactly where you want to start. How long have I been an affiliate? I started affiliate marketing in, this is a while ago, 2009 or so. I've been making a full-time living with that, a very good full-time living, mind you, with uh, affiliate marketing alone ever since. But I have done stuff before that, but it was unrelated. It was making money online, just different business. Brother asks, how do you add additional page, pages to an existing blog? You can do that in WordPress easily. Uh, check out my free guide on my channel or my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. I have pretty extensive tutorials on how to use WordPress. Bob asks, is my new product about email marketing? Yeah, I'm covering a lot about email marketing and video marketing in particular. Uh, I'm making a lot of money with this right now. Uh, this is basically the next level, so to speak. Like if you want to take what I teach in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System to the next level, my new program is what you want. Of course, you can do this as a beginner. It's a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit more involved, so if you're, this is just kind of hobby, a hobby for you, Deadbeat Super Affiliate System might be better off. This is for people that really want to take this, make, uh, really like dedicated to making money online, that's the new program. Of course, you can do this as a beginner, so it just depends on your passion level and your commitment. Uh, I'm keeping, I'm trying to keep here. My Deadbeat Super Affiliate System right now, 17 bucks. Anyone can afford that. Do what you need to do to, to save that money. If you don't have it, it's worth the price. 100 times over. It's literally a $1,000 product, uh, reduced down to 17. 
Uh, should we build a list only on tier one or is your, your traffic a waste of time? Um, no, no, really any subscriber is worth it because you can, you can, it just helps spread the word. So I don't, I don't, um, I don't care where anyone is from. If you're a subscriber, whoever, whatever niche it's in, I appreciate it. any single subscriber. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. People are people. Uh, Arctic Panda, I'm not, I, I'm not skipping over you on purpose. It's, I'm just, you, you, you can't see the chat right now. I, it, it's questions are just streaming in. I'm trying my best here. If you re-ask your question, I will try to answer it. Terry Stone says, you guys have to remember it's very rare to start making much money within the first few months. So on average, I'm going to say that's probably true, but I've definitely had students that make money right off the bat. It's just a matter of commitment level, your passion for it. a lot. Of, uh, personally, I made money within the first, with affiliate marketing, this is a long time ago, so bear with me. I think the first two weeks or so, I didn't make any conversions. Um, I think I made my first conversion on Amazon within like the third week. It was for like 50 cents. That was that that was like the best that was literally like the best money I've ever made. Even though I've made a lot of money before that, that 50 cents on Amazon for whatever reason, it kind of just let me know that it, it could work. Okay. Um, how much is your new program? I'll talk more about price in a bit. It's more expensive than my Debbie Super affiliate system. Though, just put that out there. Totally uh, worth a hundred times the price either way. I mean, if you guys have bought any of my product products, you know that I always whatever. Let's say it costs a dollar, it's a ten. It's worth ten. It's worth a hundred. That's I, I I like to do that with every program product that I make. Just because I know that that's how you grow a business. Okay, here's the Arctic, I found your comment. Do you write content for your affiliate sites or do you pay others to do it? So what the way I do it is I, I first I'll, I'll have an outsourcer write all my content. Like I'm too lazy to do that now. That's one of the keys to being lazy and making money is having other people do most of the work. Now what I do is after the site's up and running, I go back to the crucial pieces of the site, primarily the, the review page and my top pieces of content and then that's where I put my effort into because I know that there's certain choke points that or certain bottlenecks that make all the difference. So I know where those bottlenecks are and that as soon as I open up that bottleneck, that's where all the money is. So it takes a little bit of experience and practice and know how to know where to place the X, so to speak. So that's where I put my time into. And I, I have the outsourcer do the majority of the grunt work. And then I go in and I just kind of do the magic. So that's part of the skill. That's usually, that's the main reason why I'm able to make so much money while being lazy. Uh, Timothy L says, how do you build an email list for the health niche? Um, if the product helps them treat their problem, they would no longer need to subscribe to your email list. So I'm not, I don't want to talk about that right now uh, too much. I will give you some tips, some ideas. My new program, this is all everything I cover in my new program, uh, building an email list in all types of niche markets. So for the health niche, um, it, it depends on the topic, but what you can do is you can, there's always other things you can promote. Now there are certain niche markets where there's really only one or two products that they can buy, but let's just say, um, let me just try to do this without giving too much away. Uh, let's say you're in a six pack ab niche, you get the person's six pack abs with a, let's just say it's like an ab cruncher thing. You know that they're interested in six pack abs, so you could probably get them in like a, an arm thing. You can probably pitch them a weight loss thing. You can probably pitch them uh, a, a, a nutrition, a healthy diet program. There's all kinds of different things to go along with it. Now you can also know that if someone is interested in health, chances are that they're probably, like someone that's interested in building their body is probably also interested in building their bank account. So you can segue into other topics. It takes skill, it takes a little bit of know-how. I'm talking more about this in my new program. 
Victoria says, I'm very credible. Thank you. I've, I've spent a lot of time on this. So, uh, I know the ins and outs. It's taken a while. I've done I made money in pretty much every niche you can think of. Some, you know, I have my, my, my share of failures. I'm not perfect, but you know, this is why I'm here. I enjoy, this is kind of like one of my passions, teaching people how to make money online. Okay, guys, we're getting towards the end here. I, I, like I said, I want to keep live streams under 45 minutes. I'll answer a few more questions. If you want to, if you want more, if you want more in-depth stuff, definitely consider my Debbie University program, uh, coaching program. That's where I'm going after this. That's my next live stream for the day. Putting in those rough four-hour work days. And then I'm going to go take a nap. And light man says he loves uh, says I love your content. I signed up for your program. Congrats, you're going to enjoy. Undertech says I'm the greatest of all time. Thank you. What's up, Mike Anjo? Good to see you back. Ryan says, how much money do I need to start with affiliate marketing? I recommend you can you can make it happen with under 100 bucks, easy. If you're really tight pinched, you can do it for about 50. So what I recommend that you you spend that money on is get a professional web hosting plan. It is, uh, it, it is worth the investment. Sorry, being a bit distracted here. So that you can get started with that for about a, uh, about thirteen dollars up front a month. So that'll give you a few months to work with, get started. Okay, Corey says I'm getting the program right now. Enjoy. You're gonna like it. It's what I'm doing every single day. It's a perfect place to start if you're a beginner. Lunatic says, do you recommend promoting your website right away or wait a few months till you get traffic? Well, I mean, technically, if you're getting traffic, that means you're promoting your site. If you mean paid traffic, I don't recommend you get paid traffic until you master uh, building an email list in a sales funnel. That's something I talk more about in my new program. It is more in depth. It can be done as a beginner. It's just that it just depends on your commitment level. Technology says he sold $520 worth of items in two days on uh, by sharing the Amazon Echo affiliate link on Facebook page. Um, how can I do this by creating a blog? So basically just do whatever you're doing on your Facebook page, replicate that to your blog. Do the same thing with a YouTube channel. Just literally take the same for format that you're using and do that there. Terry Stone says, I'm, I was in Wealthy Affiliate. You can learn more with Debbie Super Affiliate. I agree. I'm, I, um, I'm not a fan of Wealthy Affiliate. I joined their program. It hurt. The rankings by, by applying what was taught in that I lost the rankings on some of my earning videos. I'm not a fan. Uh, Brother Chill said, "Here's a great question." Brother Still uh, Chill says, "Do I have to have an email list?" Uh, to be an affiliate, you don't. You don't. One of some one of my top performing affiliate sites doesn't do any email for email marketing at all. It's literally straight to the review page. No email, so you don't need it. It's just that it just depends on the niche, and the reality is that you can make a boatload of money with email marketing. Like that's the reality. It's just the for beginners, you don't you don't need it. That's why I made the Deadbeat Super Affiliate program the way it is because my goal with that program is to get people up and running and making money without that hurdle of email list, uh, email marketing, because it's a little bit more involved and that's kind of where people get caught up doing all the technical stuff involved. So my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, everything in that is enough to get you to 10, 12,000 a month easy um, without email marketing. Chris O says, how can I get on your live broadcast if you have if I have your Deadbeat Super Affiliate System? So that's Deadbeat University. There's a link in the members area. 
Um, so right after this, at about four, I'm doing a live session. Basically there I do reviews of people's work. I teach more tactics, more uh, different tactics than what I teach on my channel here. Brother Chill, no problem, thanks for coming out. Code Boy of the Day says, do you recommend using the same tactics in the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System for launch jacking? Yeah, you can, do, you, can, you can use those same tactics for that. I was actually going to, that's on my list of videos to make launch jacking. Let me just write that down. A launch jacking video. I'm gonna do that on my channel here. That I know someone who makes a lot of money with that. Super Bob says, how old do you have to be to start affiliate marketing? You can start whenever you want. Like if you have the, uh, the ambition to do it at nine years old, by all means start if you're nine years old. It's just that you're probably gonna have to have your parents get help you with like a bank account. But you can do it at any age. Underground Tech says, how much do I make on YouTube? I'll, I'll reveal that in my new program. Uh, it's a lot of money through my various YouTube channels. I've kind of mastered this. Uh, it's almost unbelievable money, but I'll, I, I, there's, an, there's a way, it's kind of, a, what I've learned is it's kind of a risk telling people how much you make online because it kind of triggers envy and that can lead to some negative consequences. But when it comes time to launch the program, I'll talk more about that. It's a lot of money. New program comes out in September. I'm, I'm having some delays with payment processing. That's always an issue for me. Um, so it might be October, depending. I'm aiming for September. This is something I, I'm, this is my passion right now is this topic that I'm talking about in my new program. I've pretty much mastered it. So I'm happy to, I'm excited to teach everybody this new stuff. Um, so if I follow your program, how long will it take to make a good income? Legally, I can't promise you specific results. What I can say is that I have had students make money within the first 48 hours. I've had people make good income within the first month or so. I've had one guy make, off the top of my head, don't quote me on this, he's within four months he was making like three grand a month or so. That's about how long it took me. It took me about four months to get to the $3,000 a month mark. Now it doesn't matter when you get started, it's just a matter of your passion, your commitment. The money is out there. It's just a matter about, are you serious? Are you gonna be able to make that, that choice on that crossroads that I talked about in the beginning of this video? So rewatch this live stream, I talked about a very important uh, concept about entrepreneurship. Does offline marketing work for online sales? I'm not really quite sure I mean, know what you mean by that, uh, that at, at way. M. Lightman says, how many products should I promote on a site? Is there a sweet spot? It just depends on the niche. Um, it, it's it, usually either one or of one to five is the sweet, the sweet spot, but there are types of niche markets out there where you can promote hundreds. It just depends. I'm sorry if I can't ever answer everyone's question. It's this, you should see this chat stream. It's just, I'm, I'm trying, I, I think I've skipped a lot of people. I'm sorry if I, if I, if I have, I'm like, a, it's not personal. It's just that I, it, there's so much coming through here. Stephanie Weaver says, I want your robe. If you join my Debbie University program and meet the qualifications, I do have an official Debbie robe that I send um, top members. Farrah says, how do you make an affiliate site? Check out my Debbie super affiliate system. Links in the description below. I teach you how to do that. Brother Chill says, how hands on in my, in my niche sites? Though I'm pretty much hands off of those now that I, they made it. Now, eventually you do want to jump, jump back in and, and kind of keep pushing the, the boulder up the hill. But right now they're on complete autopilot for me. Proof, this is a good question. Uh, Proof V says, how many things do you focus on at a time? Usually just two things. Any more than that, it, 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 call, it causes too much stress. So two is, in my opinion, is about the max. The more the more that you're the more experience they get, I think they can handle a little bit more. But you have to be very um, very uh, mindful of your your level of stress. That's so important. George says I made it to three k a month by focusing on one site or multiple sites. 
The majority of the income came from one campaign, but I had a lot of uh, smaller sites. This is when I first started. I had some smaller sites making up um, some of the some of it there too. So I made, I'd say two thirds, maybe a little, this is a while ago. So, you know, don't quote me, but I made roughly two thirds off of one site and one third off of the other ones, but I couldn't have found out that first one, the, the main earner until I created like five sites at first. Horse Seed says, how can I trust your program? Is it scam? Is it real? Look, it's $17, just give it a shot. This is what I'm doing every day. If you don't trust it, that's on you. It doesn't really matter to me either way. There's a refund policy on it. Just, just look at my channel. You see how much value I'm giving away here. Like I wouldn't be here doing live streams if it was a scam. Okay, here's one. Is there anything better than Google AdWords? Um, each, it's not really be better, it's just different skill. So people are making, people are making millions with AdWords, people are making millions with Facebook, people are mil making millions with YouTube, paid YouTube ads, it's just a different skill. It's like martial arts. Some people are good at Muay Thai, some people are good at Jiu Jitsu, some people are good at Kung Fu, some are good at Karate, some are decent at all. It's just a different way of, different, um, a different uh, mentality, I guess. A different. It, matter, it just depends on what you're you enjoy doing. Uh, Victoria says, "Does my beginner course? That's my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. Does it walk you through your first campaign? Yeah, it walks you through step by step everything that you need to know. It's the it's where you want to start. I don't care uh, what what your you know if you if your computer skill whatever that is it doesn't matter. I've made it for complete beginners in mind." Uh, in, oh man, these live streams always go much longer than that one. Uh, I just get into it, man. I'm like, yeah, questions. All right, in, uh, Ender says, what is a profitable niche to build a website in? Always the top three, they're always, look, he's broken, my fingers look like they're broken. Health, the top three niches that are always good go to. Health, anything to do with money, and relationships. Anything like that. So people are, this is proven things people spend money on. I usually focus on health and money. Those are those are what I'm interested in. Uh, so yeah, but you know you might have to have to uh, find your your thing. You know whatever you're passionate about. Amir says, "How long will it take for the whiteboard method to work?" YouTube works pretty quick. It's just a matter of figuring out the tricks, like keyword research, um, knowing how to create good videos. I talk a little bit uh, about video in my Debbie super affiliate system. It's uh, good enough to start get ranked quickly. My new program though is, excuse me, in depth on video marketing and email marketing. This is one of the top, in my opinion right now, uh, one of the hottest ways to make money. And again, I talk a little bit about this in my Debbie super affiliate system. Angelisa asked, what do I think about the mattress niche? This is a good because everyone mattress is, is a big industry. Everyone needs a mattress and everyone, I don't care who you are. Sleep is important to everyone. Now check out Amazon. You actually, I bought some of my mattresses on Amazon. So I'm going to say that's a good one. Uh, another question is, do I use HostGator for all your websites? Uh, I do. I have like five HostGator accounts now. I do use them on mostly everything. It's just easier. Uh, Horse Seed says, what do I need? Uh, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce your name right. Is it Horse Seed? Uh, it says, what do I need to start your program? Uh, nothing. You don't need any pre uh, prerequisite skills. It helps know how to write, but I teach you how to, if you're not a good writer, how to not be good at it and still make money. You will need, though, you will need a professional hosting plan and a domain name. You can start with that. It's 13, it's like 12, 13 bucks up front, and then like 10 bucks a month thereafter if you use HostGator. Uh, Mike Hale says, how do you market to your email list that you build? Uh, this is something I'm talking about in my new program. Lacey says, is drop shipping worth it? it? It can be. There's people making money with it. It's just another method. Look, the way, the way I look at it is there are many proven ways to make money online. None, there is no better than the other. It's just uh, depending on what you like to do and how good you get at it. 
Underground Tech says there's also Super Chat that I can en enable. Um, they, for whatever reason, YouTube's not letting me do it. I need to figure out what the deal is with that. They all, some people have problems with my this whole deadbeat persona. I don't know why. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I mean, like, it's just scrap money. The money you can make off of AdWords is scrap money compared to what you can make off of video marketing when you do it right. Matt Khan says, how much is the Deadbeat Super Affiliate Program? It's 17 bucks. You can start with that. The link's below. You'll spend $17 today, probably without thinking about it. So just, it's an investment in yourself. It's, it's literally everything you know start to finish. Nothing left out. So get that. I spent many years mastering that system. So in it, just in a nutshell, I teach you how to make money with the Amazon Affiliate Program. A couple of hours a day. Um, within about a couple hours a day. It will take you a little bit of effort up front to get it going, but it is, it is by and large one of the easiest ways to earn passive income online, in my opinion. Yeah, he says it's, it's too cheap, I know. The, the, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System is a $1,000 program. I marked it down to 17. Um, it's too cheap, I agree. I, 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 I made a mistake with that. Uh, this, this is the cheapest thing I'm going to release uh, from this point on. So get that while you can. Terry says, can you do more content on the video marketing approach? Uh, this is my new program. I'm releasing about this. I've learned so freaking much about video marketing over the last, really over the last 12 months. It has made all the difference. So my new program, just to recap, it's focused on making a boatload of money, and I mean a boatload. Like I don't wanna talk about figures right now. Uh, you'll see when I launch the program, but I'm making a killing with video marketing throughout my various YouTube channels. Doing it a different way than what I've been teaching in my Deadbeat Super Affiliate System. It's kinda of like the new way that I've learned. <clears throat> Either way though, if you, if you wanna stick with the Deadbeat Super Affiliate System, great for beginners you can it can potentially bring you to that ten thousand twelve thousand dollar a month mark a new program is just over the top where's the link you can, there should be a link in the description below if not uh, for the Debbie super affiliate system that's deadbeat super affiliate.com man these live streams I just go overboard sorry for anyone who shows up late I need to learn to promote these up front Uh, McCann says, how much info do you have on the new program system as far as like what it's about or how, what's in there? Is affiliate marketing saturated? Absolutely not. I don't know. It, that's, these questions have been asked for 20 years. It's not about saturation. There's no such, I don't believe in that. It's just a matter of, do you have the passion the, the knowledge to get into a niche, um, one, by the way, this is off the top of my, randomly, the survival niche, it's very competitive, but there's just so many freaking people in it, you can jump right on in, make a killing in any niche. It just depends on your, how passionate are you? Are you, are you coming into this just like, oh, let's just see what happens. You know, that's not really the right way to go into this. If you really want to, to make this something for you, if you have the drive, the passion, you can make it happen. Now, you can eventually get lazy with it. Like I'm literally working right now, even on a big day, four hours at most. That's because I have my channel bouncing my channel and my other stuff. You can make it happen. So yeah, the survival niche, you know, um, anything to do with that, so it's huge. Yeah, Tan Tanner J. Fox, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, everyone asks this, is it saturated? Oh my God, oh my God. Can I do this where I live? Yep, it's all the same questions. Is your new program packaged to buy? Is what I mean. Oh, it's not ready yet. Uh, it's it's. I'm still working on the training. Uh, it's going to be it really. It's not. It's not for me. The big problem is always figuring out how to get the how to sell the thing. I always have problems with payment processing. That's all the biggest hurdle for me. It's always has been. 
Chris, oh, I'm sorry. Um, what's your question? Uh, try to answer it here. I'll try to get this. If you type it right now, I'll see it. Crypto Kings, am I making money in cryptocurrency? I just don't consider that an, an investment. It's more of a speculation. Like gambling, I don't really spend my mind in, uh, I don't spend my time or money in speculation. Chris, I I don't see your question. I'm waiting. <clears throat> but, you know, like just to go back, though, there are people making money with cryptocurrency. It's just, it's not my thing. Uh, underground tech says, I'm, oh, so you're not invested in the stock market. I do hold good, good stocks, like long-term stocks, stocks, Coke, Apple. Um, those are just some of my investments. I, I've invested in like 10 different companies. I have a gas fund. Anything that's going to be around for a long time that has, that has like intrinsic value because of the business, I'll invest in that because it's, I'm buying an actual thing. Cryptocurrency is just kind of like a, what people value, what, what it's valued at to all the nutty people out in the world. Uh, so Chris O says, is my affiliate live cast on your program able to let us live chat with me? Yeah, um, so I do it all through GoToWebinar. The next session is, oh crap, it's in one hour. Okay, all right guys, I gotta go. I have a live stream in my Debbie University, uh, my Debbie University Coaching Club. Um, sorry about that, I totally forgot. This went a lot longer than I wanted. All right, all right, Debbie, thanks for coming out. This has turned out to be a pretty good live stream. I appreciate everyone coming out. Um, I'll try to do one in the future. I think I'm getting a little bit better at this. It's a, it's a skill, so I'm figuring it out. All right, guys, uh, if you haven't, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions for me, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. I appreciate every, everyone's time and coming out. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I'd just be doing my affiliate sites behind the scenes. That's really nowhere near as fun as doing all this cool stuff. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a, a uh, for giving me your, your attention, your time. I really appreciate you, everyone out there. All right, Debbie, it's my name is Stan Brock, the Debbie Super Affiliate. I'll see you guys later.